Hey, sorry for interrupting the video, but I just wanted to say thank you guys for 40,000 subscribers. We did it. It's freaking awesome. Besides all that, I just wanted to thank you guys for tuning in consistently and uh, liking the videos and sharing the videos and engaging uh, in the comment section. Everyone is, for the most part, super nice and chill and level-headed down there. And I just want to say I appreciate you guys for that. Before I got involved in drums at all, I was always the guy with the camera. I made skate videos with my friends back in like the late 90s and early 2000s. To have this kind of come full circle in a way to where I finally created something that people enjoy is awesome. Yeah, just thank you guys for that. And uh, if you could, I'm gonna be that guy. I'm, I'm a YouTuber now, guys. I'm a, I'm a straight up YouTuber, yo. If you could rim shot that like button and maybe subscribe if you haven't, that would be dope. I would really appreciate it. Anyways, I'm taking up enough of your time. Thank you again, and let's get back into the video. Peace. gentlemen welcome to another drum tech pov slash vlog i think i'm talking more now so it's be holy it's becoming more of a vlog i feel like now but we're in knoxville tennessee today we had a day off yesterday i have a video coming out today so i'm about to hop in the bus and hang out in the chat with you guys yeah we have a show in knoxville today i don't know what the venue's called and then uh tomorrow we have another day off so hopefully it's a good show we're doing playback now oh interesting interesting gonna make us work What's that? Oh, thank you. JT. JT G. Yeah, we're doing playback and drum teching for the rest of this tour. You guys will have seen that now. Morning, Kyle. Great premiere guys, great premiere of the last video. Super, super awesome, I love it. There's more people in there every time, it's so cool. Now we gotta figure out where to go. It is 10.56, I was supposed to be there in 11.30, or 10.30, but nothing happens. Nothing happens until much later, so. This is always a fun part of the day, finding out where the entrance to everything is. It's probably this way, because these are disturbed buses and they will be parked closer to the entrance that's a good way to figure it out it's not looking good. it's not looking good uh maybe it was that door no nope. elevator no nope. machine room yeah, 
it's definitely not going to be that communication room. No. What's up, brother? Haircut. You got a haircut? Yeah. Hell yeah. I wish uh, I had hair. I guess I got to go in this way. I've been trying to find. <laughs> I've checked every door down here. So I know but, you can get in this way, but there's another back way to come around. Oh, everything's locked. What up, dog? What's up, my dude? What's up? You turn left here, that goes directly to our offices. But if you go in here, that's where everything is. Okay. Everything. The everything sign's a good sign. There we go. There they are. Nothing's broken. Very nice. Always start with the baby step. Now it's 11 on the dot. Get that boy nice and tight. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to give anything away. Well, we'll be here when the door's open. I want, I want, I want to play in the scavenger hunt. Yeah? The scavenger yeah. hunt? What's that? Oh, they've been having signed the uh, Disturb has been signing and dating the uh, a drum head and they've been ha hiding it in the building. Oh, really? And they're posting clues on the reel there on Facebook. Oh, wow. I had no idea that was happening. Yeah, That's I'm cool. The, I'm the only one in the bed with no so <laughs> All right, I'll be quiet. Shh. Yeah. <laughs> if, I, if I see anything, I'll throw some clues your way. Well, they put, the, they put the clues on the reel on Facebook, so I've been following them every single day to see where they're hiding. Right on. Well, good luck. Yeah, it does. <laughs> That's cool. Fall. Now we'll be changing the snare huh, snare drum head today. Alright, let's take a look and see where Disturb's at with their setup. See all the trusses are down still, so we got lots of time. Oh, there's Pip right there. Oh yeah, we got a lot of time. Alright, that's all I needed. I don't like to hang around too long because I just feel like I'm in the way. Now we gotta go find my radio. Okay. Sir. We've got all our signage right here, dressing rooms, production, and all the, the band screen rooms. This is catering? That's good. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know where the food's coming from. I'm looking for our production. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Have you gone this way yet? Uh-uh. I've not. Dude, Chris has a sick room today. Dude, this is a great setup. Carpet and everything. Very nice. Okay, it's definitely not this way. We found it. Total opposite side of the building. Let's get a new head on this snare drum. I think we did four shows with it. I'm gonna use my snare weight key. I have another one of these, but it's in my backpack on the bus. So we got to use one of these pedestrian keys as well. I only use one key normally, but when I'm taking off the head, I'll use two. We 
These definitely don't need to be greased. Look at that. By the way, it's 11.46 now. Put on another fresh P77. This has been our snare drum head of choice for probably about a year and a half now. It's very consistent, honestly. What am I looking for? I need a fresh rag. My Music Nomad drum polish. I just used this to get the dust and stuff off the bearing edge here. It's, they make a, uh, well, I don't know what company makes it, but there is a um, bearing edge conditioner that you can get. I've never tried it. Clean that dust off. And then I go around and I make sure all the hardware is snug because there's nothing worse than putting a new head on, hitting the drum, and then you hear a screw bouncing around inside. And you gotta take it all apart again. So I just go around with my fingers, check everything, make sure everything's snug, and we avoid that problem. And then I'll get all the dust off of this too. Anything that can get caught up in here to make the drum not sit perfectly even. Just get all that off. It's cool about the snare weights is I just, you just leave it on. And the thing about snare weight, one of the things that I never mentioned about snare weight that I really, really like is that you buy them one time. You know, whereas like a moon gel, you have to buy a new pack all the time. Like once you change heads, you have to change the moon gel normally. But with these snare weights, man, you just reuse them for, forever. As long as you take care of them, you know, everything's all my stuff's always in cases. So it doesn't get weathered or anything. So yeah, huge shout out snare weight. I truly, truly endorse their product. Okay, so right here, I'm just going to try and make sure that the tension rod is as close to center to this hole as I can get it. That looks about good. We'll check a couple of them, make sure they're good. There we go. I think that's good right there. So I'll get them all finger tight. As tight as I can go with my fingers all the way around. And then I'll stretch the head. These Remo heads, you gotta stretch them. Just go around it a few times because as you tighten one side, the other side will become loose. So I just keep going around until I can't move them anymore. All right, I think we're good. Yeah, that's good. So I'll remove the Lazy Susan. You don't want to push down on it while the Lazy Susan's underneath it. So then you're pushing on the bottom head, pushing the snares into the drum. It's good. All right, and then I'll check, make sure the finger tight still because you loosened everything up by pressing down on it. Cool. Now this drummer likes his snare drum absolutely cranked, so he likes the rebound that you get from that. So I'll do one turn. I don't like to spin the drum while I'm tuning. While I'm tuning a snare. Because it makes me lose my spot, like which direction I'm going in. I need to I need it to stay stationary so I can like keep track of where I'm at.
started over here. So now I'll just give it a half turn from here on out. No more full turns. About a half turn. It's getting pretty tight. That'll probably be good for now. I'll let it sit and stretch and, and get comfortable in its new home. And then uh, when we get up on stage, I'll, I'll really lay into it and see where we're at. But for now, that'll be good. All right, let's see what we got here in Knoxville. Knoxville, Tennessee, we've got some rice. Love me some rice. A little bit of carbs. Just a little bit. Oh shit. That'll do. You hopping in here? No, I'm good. Thanks. You want to go ahead of me? I'm going to be doing no, like no, some commentary no, 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 and all. stuff. All right. Really? No, right we got the like veggies. No, I just I just turned it on. You're good. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm aware. Chicken curry. Curry is always great for catering, man. Oh yeah. Let's get some of that stuff that's been marinating in that sauce. A little extra sauce on there. Oh, there's beef too. Get a little bit of beef. What's that? This looks great. Yeah, it looks amazing. Jasmine rice? Jasmine, Jasmine rice is the move. Jasmine's my favorite. I'll f*** with Jasmine. All right, staying away from the cookies, that's for sure. And we'll get the salad bar this time. Pretty good spread. Messy plate. The return of the salad bar, guys. These bowls are too small for your boy though. Look how small that scoop is all the way full. These crumbles, dude. I like things with intense flavor. I like olives, I like blue cheese, I like onions, dude. These are kind of coagulated. Well, that's just gonna be one real big bite of blue cheese later. Where was the silverware at? Oh, it's in one of these contraptions. Sight. It's almost one o'clock. And the drums have been sitting for a minute, so I think this is about where they're going to live, temp-wise. I mean, it'll warm up on stage once people and bodies get in here, in here but I obviously can't tune then. I have no room today. I have this big-ass area, but I'm confined to this tiny, dark corner. See if we have to really do anything today. Pretty even to me. If anyone, this one's a tad high, but I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna mess with it. And I believe this will be the fourth show with these tom heads. I think I'm gonna try and do six, man. We'll see how they they sound at the next one. These two again, always high. See, everything else is the same except for them. But if I tune them any lower, I have no tension. That's tension gone right there.
God damn it. Stand by. We got a forklift firing up. It was nice and quiet in here until I needed to do something. That's just how it goes. All right, there we go. I don't remember what I was doing. So you can hear this one flapping. Dude, this drum has a mind of its own. It's, this is the wildest drum I've ever had to deal with. Happy with that. Let's see how it sounds on stage. The thing is, like, you can tune these drums down here, but it's more of a controlled environment. But as soon as we get on stage in a different room and a different temperature, and everything's gonna sound different. So that's why I don't go too crazy tuning drums before they're on stage. I get them relatively close so that I'm quick up there, is all I'm trying to do down here. I'm just trying to set myself up to tune them better later. This floor tom has been cooperating quite nicely on this front. Throw the towel under there to mute that top head, the batter head. I think it's fine. For a second I thought I heard one that was wildly higher, but I don't... It's so goddamn loud back here. I mean, I've been doing it for 23 years. So it's not like tuning a guitar. No, it's it's much different than tuning a, a guitar. Yeah, because a guitar is different because you're tuning to a note. Some drummers will tune toms to a note. Oh, yeah. I don't. Disturbs Drum Tech doesn't tune to notes or anything like that. I just use my ear, you yeah. know, and then um, just try and get it as even as possible. That's why everything's bungeed down and just rolls in. Yeah. And then this will live on here. But yeah, very few of them. Very few of them I'll actually put in the in the case until the last show. I threw my fucking mallet. It was awkward. Just chit chatting with this guy, I'm trying to be cool, throw my drumsticks around. I just drop it mid conversation. Hell yeah. Yeah, we're happy with that. That'll be fine. All right. 107 now. We still got about two hours before we, well, hour and a half. If it all goes well. We're gonna start staging, so I'm just getting these ready. Going right up after these side fills here. These big boys. These are probably louder on stage than a lot of small clubs. I'm not even kidding. These two stacks alone are bigger than <laughs> than PA systems at clubs that I've played. There, and I'll hold that curtain out of the way. Nice and gentle with it. No rush. Chris gets to live on stage with us today. Yeah, it's my favorite thing <laughs> to have a bunch of stuff on stage. Yeah, and just be exposed to the entire crowd the whole show. I love it. <laughs> no fork today. It's okay. Well, it's fine. It buys me some time to strap my drums down with you getting off first, honestly. Yeah. So. Should be fine. You'll be fine. You're the fast one. It's What'd you eat yesterday? Oh man. You'd know if you would have actually tried to hang out with me instead of just hanging out with Evan all day. Dude, I don't hang Tell out with how funny I don't hang out with anybody on days off. 
Well, I did oh, get lunch with Nate. You at lunch. I got Amazing lunch with Nate and Kyle. You hung out with me at lunch. So you're you just lied straight to my face. You I had no choice. Time. The hotels weren't ready. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Fuck you. And all your friends. That's from hey. Kyle. That's for him, because I know he won't do he it. Slapped me three times in the yeah. last five minutes. I got that on camera. I don't care. It's I'll delete soon. your YouTube. You wouldn't. Yeah, I would. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would. Start recording it nonstop. Yeah, I would. From 80 different accounts? You would never. <laughs> Evan! <laughs> He learned. He just are learned what right stage now? left and stage right are. Yeah. He I just am. learned that, and you're filming. Yeah, I'm filming that. Camera doesn't go up that high. <sighs> I want you guys to know that I was just prove. assaulted by Willard. You can't prove anything. You heard it. Oh dear God! Give it up for Willard, everybody. Well, it's almost three o'clock. Still waiting on some stuff to get done with uh, Pyro. They have a piano that catches on fire and they're figuring something out with that. And then bring your end around. Yep. About right here will do for now. Thank you. Some people crank the snare basket real hard so that the snare can't fall out of it. I don't go that tight personally. I have it so where I can get it out pretty easily and it's not choking the drum at all. Like I already have this snare weight on here so I'm not trying to deaden it anymore. I want to keep it somewhat alive. Oh, she's touching. Oh. Being a little fussy today. There we go. Oh, um, it's either too far or too close. We'll try that for now. No, it's not in the right spot. All right, we're good. I'm just looking at the markings I have on, on my uh, riser here. I think that's good. Disappear real quick. Check one, two. Hey, hey. Hey. And, uh, right now we have a lot of communication going on with putting these lighting trusses on, so I'm not gonna hit these drums or tune anything until they're done moving all this heavy, dangerous hey, stuff. One, two. Three forty one. I think doors are in about an hour, give or take.
Here's, it's not clean yet. I'm gonna get fired, dude. Hey, JT, no. do we uh, do we need to get off the stage? Yeah, oh, we're trying to. Yeah, if you need a guy's got to go through some stuff like that, I'm, I'm gonna wait at okay. 4 15 before I fucking push off the stage. All right, cool. You don't That's get fine. The fucking the stage is ours until JT says otherwise. Here we are, sitting up this blasted practice kit man i've actually gotten pretty fast at it this thing used to annoy the hell out of me it's cool like don't get me wrong it's it's like a cool practice kit for sure but dude it's such a pain there's so many parts man this is definitely something that you should, like if you were to buy you just keep it set up at all times but tearing it down every day and putting it up every day is quite annoying i found it if i put the legs behind the little kick drum pad here it doesn't move there's a little quick little uh, solution to that yeah but like chris was talking about earlier today is one of those days that just feels like it's dr like nothing's happening like it feels like so much of nothing is happening constantly but it's 4 30 now doors are in five or 30 minutes so technically my day is like kind of close to over but man has it been dragging I think we're also just past the halfway point of this tour. This is kind of where, if I can be completely honest with you guys, this is where like it really starts to feel like a job. And, like this isn't me complaining. Like I know, like this is a. I'm stoked on this job. I have a great time. Like I get to play with drums and stuff. But yeah, like this is that point where I'm like, okay, <laughs> we're gonna go do this again. You know what I mean? The playing part and the show part are always awesome, but just there's so much downtime in between is just is when it gets like a little tedious, you know. I don't want to sound like I'm ungrateful or anything or complaining at all, but just being real, you know. What's that for Matt? Yeah, I'm done the drum. Thank you. Cool. So I'm gonna hop up there and black out the kit real quick, and then I'll continue putting that practice kit together. got informed that a package showed up today for for me but I don't 
know what it is. So we're gonna go find out. Yeah, of course I get the text about it right when I get to the bus. I had to drop off some GoPro batteries to charge. Blowing your batteries today. But um, yeah, so we're gonna go to the our production office and see what we got. I'm drinking a Red Bull. It's a sugar-free Red Bull. Why do I feel like you guys are gonna give me sh for drinking this? I'm all worried about what I eat and drink in front of you. Hey, there it is. Yeah, we got ourselves a package from Remo today. I've been wondering when this was going to show up. It was a surprise. Oh, I don't want to go to the drum riser to get my knife. I'm doing this by hand. Okay. Look at that. boy has gotten a new resonant head. I'm going to let him unsheath it. It's got his little baby stack logo. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but that's the logo that he's got on his signature baby stack, and that's his LH, his main logo. So we'll throw that on there tomorrow. Oh, there's two of them. We got a straight up gold one, and we got the rose gold. Rose gold over here, regular gold here. Hell yeah. So we'll throw this on or this one on the next show. Cool. I'll let Luke know it's here. Hold on, we gotta watch a test to beat video real quick. Dude knows how to tune a snare, that's for sure. What you playing there, Dan? Uh, nothing. Uh, give us another little... Name that beat, boys. What you got going on over here, dude? Free workout, bro. I'm gonna have to blur this out in the video, man. <laughs> yeah, sorry, dude. I'm gonna call my sponsor. <laughs> We have 21 minutes until set time. So again, I'm just ripping this crash down now. Got nothing else to do. Everything's taken care of on stage. Let's get this done now and makes my loadout quicker. 7.38. Seven minutes to show time. We're just back here waiting for the band. I gotta give Luke his sticks. So this is where I wait and dread doing playback <laughs> but right now yeah we just kind of waiting been waiting for a minute hey stand by for the countdown stand by for the countdown and go five four three two one go for rock show go for rock show
job, guys. Yeah, right over here. Let's 180 into this corner right here. Yeah, there we go. Hell yeah. Thank you, guys. Ta-da. Perfect. Let's just go right here with it. Let's go right over here. Yeah. Right in there. Cool. I love the way that is showing. Right, it looks that real pretty. Real pretty. Holy hell. That was terrifying. Oh my god, guys. Every time I run playback, I feel like I age 10 years, bro. I wore my jacket the entire show. I'm so sweaty. You guys definitely wanted to know that. Ugh. That's winter tours, man. You sweat a shit ton and then you go outside into the freezing cold. Should fit. She fits. Let me slap you one more time. Oh. Yeah, there they are. It'll be good if you want to stop people Have you seen the movie? Uh, the Guess we'll never be good, dude. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my god. Have you seen the movie The Cure? No, you told me not to do it. Now we're actually good. Now he has power over you. Sure, man. You have to take it. Today is such a weird. Dr. Pepper Zero and Kevin. Yeah, it was just a boring day overall. Bro, sick show. Good job on the playback. Boom, 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 boom. Playback. I found this stray cable, Dylan. Okay, thank you. Max Talkback. Put it on top of the um... playback rig. Want me to leave it there? No, no. Oh, okay. That's, I just saw it earlier. I didn't get to it. Okay. We are on the hunt for the radio box. Somewhere within this jungle of road cases lies a box. A box of radios yearning for the horn radio. It's not that. Yo, where? Oh, there it is. Let's see if there's any straggling snacks. Oh man. You know how bad I want a rock of a bowl right now? Oh my god, that sounds good. Only sweets left. I'm not about to eat a piece of cake, bro. Oh. Salad bar's calling my name. Quick salad. Quick salad. Quick salad. Damn, damn. Right now. Is there a special box for it? A little bit of queso. No croutons today. Heartbreaking. Oh, olives. How did I not notice these at lunch? It's fucked. Damn it, I contaminated the olives with ranch. I didn't mean to do that. All right. Am I filming myself eating? Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap for today's video here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Hope you enjoyed. It is my watch will work 9.20. Wrapping it up before 9.30 even. Oh, I have a question for you guys. What other positions in the touring industry would you guys be interested in learning about? I have, obviously my whole crew is my friends and they're all willing to share their knowledge and, and show you guys some stuff. So leave a comment down below on what position you would like to learn about. And um, hopefully in the next video, I can make that happen and do a little, you know, chit chat with one of them. I mean, over the course of time, I'm sure we'll cover them all. But uh, 
what are we going to start with you know but uh thank you guys so much again for watching and uh coming back if you haven't please like the video and consider subscribing i'd really appreciate it if you did it helps me out a ton i don't think i've ever asked you guys to hit the bell but maybe hit the bell i kind of want to see what happens if i say that if it makes any change at all but everybody have a great night and i will see you in the next one all right peace and i to get god damn